Hi YouTube, it's Kayla, the travel nurse, and today we're gonna be doing a footwear review video. I don't know about you guys, but for years I've just worn whatever kind of shoes I, I deemed to be work shoes at the time. Um, I will wear a pair of shoes to work until they literally fall apart, they have holes in them, uh, they're uncomfortable, and then I'll try to pick a new pair of shoes, something that looks cool with all my scrubs. I really never had a preference. Up until about two years ago, I stumbled across clogs, specifically Crocs clogs. I have loved these shoes for the last couple years. I've, this is my second pair of them. Um, I haven't had any issues with them. They're comfortable, they're lightweight, they cushion my foot. I don't have many bad things to say about the Crocs clogs, and specifically these are the Neria Pro 2 version. They come in a bunch of colors. I think the first pair I had were white and this pair were black. They just go with everything. And the reason I chose the Crocs over the Dance Coats is one, Dance Coats are hella expensive. I'm not paying that much money for freaking clogs that aren't even comfortable, okay? I said it, I'll say it again. Dance Coats are uncomfortable. I also don't like Dance Coats because everyone I know that does have them complains about them. They say the same things like, I twist my ankle. I feel like I'm gonna fall when I wear them. I couldn't imagine running to a code in dance goes, <laughs> if I'm being honest. I would only be thinking about not breaking my ankle. I know there's a lot of stereotyping with the dance goes as far as those chief complaints that I just mentioned, but for me, I was like, the cost of them and all of these negative things about them, just, I can't commit to those. So alternatively, I found the Crocs clogs. So these are really cool. Just to give you a little specification about these, the, the Crocs Neria Pro 2 Clog runs up to be about $49.99. They come in multiple colors. They come in sizes four through 11. It is a true to size fit with a little bit of a relaxed fit down in the heel so that you have some heel mobility. The footbed liner is removable and washable. Crocs has a trademark lock slip resistant tread, enhanced arch support. They are fully molded and soap and water washable. They're also very lightweight. That is the rundown on Crocs. I like them. They, they feel just like a standard Croc, like, you know, the originals, um, as far as lightweight and durability um, and material. One thing that I did want to mention about clogs in particular is that clogs clog type shoes and doesn't matter which brand they are this is just across the board clogs strip your foot of its inherent power they destabilize the main foot arch contribute to common toe deformities and problems this has just been some research that's been shown negative side effects of clogs in general one major thing related to dance coats themselves if you do have plantar fasciitis then um, dance coats specifically are designed to help relieve and alleviate the pain associated with that issue so if you use them for that reason you're doing the right thing as far as when you're working and being comfortable and not being in pain all day so because dance goes have an elevated heel the heel makes the toes point in a plantar flex position, which shortens the calf muscle. Dance goes also have a very stiff sole. And according to this, stiff soles serve to eliminate the need for the plantar fascia to stretch out, the need for the great toe to extend, and effectively removes the pre-swing phase from our gait patterns. Without a plantar fascia stretch, Without great toe extension, the foot is kept neutral and without any motion at all occurring in the foot or the ankle. Feels good to the patient who has foot problems, like we said, plantar fasciitis, and removes the strain on the foot tissues, which is why they're so popular. But what happens is when you take the shoes off. So if you wear dance goes all the time to work, or if you're one of those people who wears them out to the grocery store and stuff, whatever, because you just find them to be very comfortable, what you're doing for the most part is you're shortening your calf, you're tightening your plantar fascia, and you're limiting your great toe extension. Then when you put your foot into a shoe that allows all of those things that you have been restricting your, your body to do, you can suddenly strain, tear, and inflame your tissues as a result of rapid and excessive movement. So to summarize basically with dance goes, in the short term, they will alleviate your foot pain should you be having foot issues. 
but long term they'll cause an alteration in your gait pattern and lead to a ton of other foot issues. So I'd say overall, based on all the data that I've done related to the dance goes themselves specifically, unless you have plantar fasciitis, I probably would avoid dance goes. I know dance goes have like really cute patterns of their clogs and like, you know, they're a name brand, so they're really popular, but I think unless you want to give yourself issues in the future, you probably just want to avoid that shoe in general. Now that we've talked about clogs, we're going to compare them to a very, very, very popular nursing shoe. And that is Hoka. Hoka's are underrated. Like maybe they're regularly rated. Maybe they're being overrated and I haven't heard about it. I don't know, but I, I have recently discovered Hoka's and I hope that this video will persuade you to buy them as well. Um, just so you can have total comfortability during your long 12 hour shifts at work. Um, Nick, my boyfriend, has always worn Brooks. Brooks have always been his go-to work shoes. He really has never strayed from that. He's always been like Brooks, Brooks, Brooks. Until maybe like this past year when he was like, I need a new work shoe because his Brooks were falling apart. And somebody had mentioned Hoka's and he's like, oh, I'm gonna think I'm gonna get Hoka's. And we both were like, oh God, those are like the ugliest shoes. They're like boom shoes. <laughs> Like, they're so hideous. And so he's like, yeah, I think I'm gonna try them anyway. So he went to the store and he tried them out. He's like, oh, these are weird, but they are comfortable. So he bought a pair. This boy has been on like a mission to get every coworker of his to invest in Hoka's. <laughs> like, he sings their praises and I've been listening to him talk about these shoes forever, but I have my Crocs. So I'm like totally content with those and I don't feel like I need new shoes until recently. I still love the Crocs, I stand by them. I would still encourage people if they have to have clogs to try these out. Um, but for me, I just felt like I needed a little more toe space. I don't know what changed, but my shoes just became uncomfortable in the toes. So he was like, hey, I think I'm gonna go get some Hoka running shoes. And I'm like, cause they make different styles. They make hiking shoes, they make running shoes, they make trail shoes, they make work shoes, they make all these different categories of shoes. So I'm like, oh yeah, and he's like, let's go to the store. So we went to the store together and I didn't have anything to do. So I was like, well, I guess I'll try some Hoka's just for fun. Y'all, I put these shoes on my feet and I was like, it feels like I'm wearing nothing. It literally feels like I have nothing on my foot right now. And I was like, what is this magic that is occurring down there? So long story short, I bought Hoka's. They're pretty expensive. They are right up there with Dansko's as far as price range. But I'm telling you the value that you're getting in these is worth every penny, every penny. I can totally stand by the price of these for what you're getting. So these were originally $150. I got them on sale with a Dartmouth employee discount for $120. Um, it's kind of hard to, see a little bit like how vibrant they are but um they're just a good neutral shoe though to go with every color i don't know about y'all but no matter where i go on contract navy blue is the number one color scrub i have to wear i think in some places i've worn seal blue twice uh, a couple places have just been a free-for-all whatever color you want and i think one place was like a royal blue but navy blue is the number one scrub color and the most amount of scrub like color that I own because that's what I have to wear everywhere. So they have navy blue accents all the way around, even on the bottom, which is nice. So they would definitely match with my scrubs. I also feel like because they're gray on the outside, like they could go with black or other gray <laughs> or gray or whatever. Um, but in my PPE video I showed you guys, um, don't forget I wear booties. So honestly, the color doesn't matter to me because I cover them up regardless. But if I wanna take cute pics or something, these would match. So these are the Hoka Bondi 7s. They come in seven different colors in sizes five through 12. They come in regular and wide options. 
They weigh 8.9 ounces. They offer neutral stability and they have the most cushioned shoe in the collection. They do offer a midsole, breathable mesh on the top and meta rocker technology for when you walk. Supremely plush cushion with an ultra soft memory foam insert. They weigh 8.9 ounces. They are, actually, I think they're equivalent or maybe a little bit lighter than my Crocs. So that says a lot because this is like a chunky boy, like this is a thick shoe, but they feel like nothing. These shoes have received the seal of approval from the American Podiatric Medical Association. That association recognizes products that are found to be beneficial to foot health. My, one of my best friends, hey girl, hey, she um, works in a podiatry office and she said they recommend Hoka's to all of their patients. So that was nice that she confirmed, yes, we support Hoka, we definitely endorse them and they are one of the best shoes you can ever put on your feet. I'm just gonna show you guys what they look like on. So I'm going to show you guys how the two shoes look compared to one another when you're actually wearing your scrub pants at work. I wear flare legs. I don't have any joggers yet. Uh, but it's, so this is how this looks with like a standard flare leg scrub pant. Hopefully that was a little helpful just to see how the two look side by side. I am short, I am five foot one. I should be wearing petite size pants. I don't like petite size pants. They're always like too short and then they, I look like a super nerd. I don't think they're that bad. There's the tread differences on the two. Let's see. I like both, either are good. All right guys, that's all I got for you between the two shoes style comparisons. So if you like these Hoka's, I will link them in the description box down below for you so you can check them out. If you like the Crocs clogs, I can also link those in the description box down below. Bye guys, I'll see you in the next video. Good luck and happy travels.